Hey guys, um, I said I would do a video updating you all about the testosterone treatment and um, I haven't done a video in about a week and so I thought I'd go ahead and do one. I had my last shot, um, I just got another shot Monday, excuse me, yesterday. Yesterday I just got a shot, um, my second dose of the testosterone, testosterone, cypionate, and they upped the dose, so I was taking 200 milligrams uh, the first week, or excuse me, two weeks ago when I got the shot, I took 200, I just took 300, and my butt is killing me, but that's a different, that's a different video, I suppose. The shot is, um intramuscular so it's a it's a fairly large gauge needle and they put it in your ass and and it um it kind of hurts actually it's pretty th pretty thick uh liquid I, I believe there's some oil they put in there as well to help the slow release process anyway my first two weeks um i mentioned this in my last video i, I noticed that well i think i noticed that my energy went up a little bit um yeah, the sex drive, <clears throat> nothing. Uh, mood, you know, because I, I battled depression and anxiety. Of course, uh, most people, I suppose, watching this know that. I'm not sure I could tell much in the way of a better, better mood, you know, or or a clear head, you know, the the, the fuzzy feeling I struggle with, and this just this like dull, blunted, oh, out of it feeling. I hate it, and I didn't really. I don't think it got too much better now. At the same time, I did have a couple days where I was pretty stable, more stable than I'm used to. The kind of days that give me a little hope that I'm going to be okay. Um, so that was nice. But I also had some really rough days, the kind of days that are far too familiar, where I just feel hopeless and screwed. But anyway, in relation to the testosterone, because that's what this video is about, I would say I had a bit of a crash on the last few days. Um, the primary I'm working with, he, he's just that. He's a primary care doctor. Uh, he's the one that diagnosed me with the hypogonadism, and he's not comfortable doing anything more than, or excuse me, he's not comfortable doing shots more frequently than once every two weeks. I don't like that. The literature that I keep reading, um, well, I guess it is online, although I, I've had some, somebody call it peer-reviewed articles. You know, I've read some, some more scholastic artic articles about about hypogonadism, especially in, in relation to major depression and treatment resistant depression, which is what I have. And um, from what I can tell, weekly shots are better, you know, because when you take it uh, every two weeks and the, the testosterone has about a seven day half life, then you can imagine that the first few days, you know, it peaks on the fourth day, in case you needed my fingers to tell you four. Um, it peaks and then it goes down and down and down and so what I, what I read about and what I, what I experienced although I have to say it wasn't an extreme uh, crash but I did experience some lag you know some a bit of energy in the first few days and then at the end kinda of back to the same old blah no energy no drive crap so I asked him if we could move to every week you know I, I, he's not comfortable with it he's kinda of, thank goodness I have a good uh, psychiatrist because this primary care doctor well, quite frankly, he blows, in my opinion. He doesn't he doesn't have any kind of bedside manner that I you know I prefer, and he doesn't seem like he's ever been depressed. You know, I can I get that vibe. I know when someone I'm speaking to about mental health issues because my my issue with the testosterone is not it's not just libido. You know, it's not just muscle mass. I'm a fairly well, I'm I have plenty of muscle mass relative to how low my testosterone is. So my my testosterone issue you know is related around all the depressive symptoms that I suffer from that we you know we've been just chalking up to major depression and now we're wondering what part of that was uh, the testosterone deficiency so I have a big mental health issue going on here and that is a big part of my treatment and when I ask questions to my primary he can't answer the guy just doesn't seem to have any answers for me which is great when you're a uh, you know what do you call it if you have race brain like I do, it really is awesome to have a primary care doctor who can say something like, well, I'm sorry, but I'm, I'm not your specialist. I am a primary. That's all he's got for me. So I'm not going to say any names, but I could. Um, I, have a, I have an appointment with the endocrinologist in 
July, and I'm going to try to hang in there with the testosterone cyprinate. Um, you know, yesterday I had, a, I had a pretty good day. I'd say one of the better days I've had in a very long time. That was the day I got the shot. Again, I don't know what what of uh, my effects are placebo, what might be the testosterone. I don't care. If you're anything like me and if you've been going through major depression, you don't care what makes you feel better. You know, you don't care. You just feel better or, excuse me, maybe less bad. You know, the negative happiness you get when you're having less pain. I don't care where it comes from. I'm just, I'm hoping it can be as simple for once as the testosterone treatment. So I took 300 milligrams yesterday. The nurse was pretty rough because like I said, I have the worst pain in my cheek, my butt cheek, um, but I'll live, you know, physical pain compared to mental pain. Well, for me so far, it's no comparison. Um, I guess that's about it. I, I don't need to ramble on, but uh, no increase in libido yet. Um, I've had a couple more stable days, and I think I'm going to need to see a little bit longer if I can determine what is what. Um, you know, when I have good days, I don't care what it is, but when I've had these bad days in the last... Well, a lot of my days are still bad, unfortunately, very hard. Um, I freak out about what it might be, and, and I wonder why, what, you know, the testosterone is not doing this or that, but then when I'm having a good days, it could be that. So that sounded like a conundrum, or at least an oxymoron or something. Like, but, um, but anyway, that's, that's my update. You know, that's, that's been my first two weeks on testosterone. And I'm up to 300 milligrams from 200. And I'll do another update video probably in two weeks. Um, I don't see the point in, in you know, doing a weekly one right now. I think two weeks would be okay. I'm, I'm sure for whomever might be watching this, I don't think enough can change in a week, I suppose. So if something crazy happens, you know, I just, I get like a light bulb effect and everything just starts turning on upstairs and I get this certainty that it's because of the tea. I'll make sure I do a video just in case that can give someone some ease of mind. Otherwise, I'm hanging in there. I hope you guys are too. Uh, if you're going through what I'm going through or anything like it, it doesn't matter to me. Mental health issues are mental health issues. And, um, you know, if I keep saying you're not alone, I think it's important to say. And I suppose that'll about do it. So, oh, okay, one last thing. A slight increase in athletic performance. I do, I try to work out, um, mostly for my mind, but of course for my, my physical health too, as I care more about my my chances of being around long term, you know, I try to care about the things I used to, which is my body and stuff. And I did notice that when I took, you know, yesterday when I did my workout, I thought I felt stronger, but I'm pretty certain that's all in my head. Anyway, um, be well, be well. There you go. That'll be my thing. Take care, guys, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.